Hey guys, in today's tutorial we're going to look at setting up uh, the advanced framework extension in Creo, Creo AFX. Uh, first of all, what is it? AFX is the tool that has been used uh, to make all these Shazzy tube members um, and notch them uh, to cut the, have, have the profiles made for when they go to get laser cut um, or you know put the bends in etc. Uh, it's a really powerful tool, really great, really quick and, and easy to use. Um, so to access it, it's once you have it enabled, it's on our top ribbon up here uh, under Framework. And then there's a whole bunch of options there. Um, I'll make another video uh, covering how to actually use the tool, but today we're going to just be looking at um, how to enable it. So I'm just going to open up a fresh copy of Creo. So this is just your default menu when you first uh, open Creo. Uh, you go File, and we go to Options. We go to the Configuration Editor down here. Then we're going to go to uh, Find. You're going to type AFX, Find Now. And you can see there's an option here called AFX underscore Enabled, and it loads the AFX application. You'll want to set the value. If it's no, you'll want to set it to yes, and then you'll hit add slash change. And close that, and then you can press OK. It'll say the configuration settings that you have made will be applied to the current session only. Do you want to save the settings to a configuration file? You do. Um, however, I think what will end up happening is that everyone will share the same config. Um, if you're working in one of the um, EV CAD directories, uh, but if you if that config file has it set up, but you're not seeing it, you need to come in here and, and change it. Uh, you should discuss this with your um, Creo config file subject matter expert. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.